About to switch out the steering wheel for a new wooden steering wheel. It's not actually wood, is it? Yeah, it's wood, I'm pretty sure. It might not, I don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's wood. Probably got the, is. Got a Momo hub, because eBay hubs are shit. Super savage. Alright, so you want to pop off this cover? It's broke anyhow, that's why I'm changing out my wheel. <laughs> Pops off on bridge gaps. Yeah, pretty much. The low life. Then, uh, there's one 27 millimeter bolt in here I already broke loose. I'm just going to take off the rest of the wood. Oh, this thing's a mess. It's not ready for show season yet. Alrighty, so. There's the bolt. That's a bolt. Uh, isn't that a nut? That's a nut. Whatever. Same it's thing. A nut. <laughs> All right, now you just kind of wiggle the wheel off. Oh, I might want to make sure my steering wheel is straight. Good enough. Wiggle that drawn off. Put a little spacer in there. No, it's not. Well, there was a spacer in there. <laughs> All right. There it is. Got a little horn here. Horn wires, screws, all that good stuff. Here is the hub. I don't know what any of this stuff does. But yeah, there's the hub. Sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Basically, I'm just taking this backing plate off this wheel and I'm going to put on my hub. I guess for like the turn signals and all that good stuff. Do they still work? Wire tuck. Looks like it's going well. The key is just to take out all the wires and then just leave them out and it looks good. That's what I'm doing. That's the proper way to do a wire tuck. It's more like a wire removal. So now we're assembling the hub. Basically that was just like the horn mechanism that I took off the old one, putting on the new one. Here's Nick's eye line and here's if the sun was in his eyes. <laughs> nice fender. I got it. It's a keeper. You get it all? Yeah. Sweet. Let's see it. How to not screw up your fenders 101. Ooh, that's nice. A hammer and a heat gun. That's let's see, let's see the outside. You don't need no fender roller. Let's see the outside of this gorgeous fender. It's kind of dirty. Look at that. But no bacon. That's how you do it. For free. Framing hammer and a heat gun. For the it's cost take your time. for the cost of a heat gun, you can yes, have mint fenders. Probably doesn't have to be a certain torque, but. The hub cover, then we got your horn button. Got that nice Wolfsburg edition. Match your car a little bit, you know. All right, so we got the, the hub installed, the horn button wired, and now just for the wheel install. Here is the final product after the wheel is installed. It looks pretty mint.